Number 1. Espeto du Sul. As we were heading back from our tour, we decided to take Avero as lunch spot. We found this place which was to us a bit lyle another rodizio place only much more fashionable. Wrong. The food was super tasty as the best picanha I have eaten in a while. Give it a try. Number 2. Salpoant. Great service and atmosphere. For dinner, I have tried the tasting menu, discovering regional products, with pairing by sommelier and definitely recommend as it was really well selected drinks for the dishes. When I am in Avero next time, we'll come back to try vegetarian tasting menu as well. Number 3. Musco. If you're a vegetarian or vegan and require sustenance while in Avario, Musco is a must-go. Miguel and Anna make this cozy little spot feel like you're dining in your own home, with their congenial hospitality and genuine attention to patrons' needs. When you add on top of that that the food is always on point, there's no reason to pass this place up. Number 4. Obero. Had okay dinner here in July 2022. Friendly and very fast service started with the fish soup, which was very tasty. After that we had the risotto and the salmon, which was both okay but very big portions, which was not very pleasant. We didn't have a reservation and clearly we were not the only ones. Five couples were waiting when the restaurant opened at 19.30. Number 5. Un Poco Loco. I went to Un Poco Loco on a visit to Avero. I had been following the restaurant on Instagram for some time and all the pictures made me want to go there. I found a super fun and intimate space with super helpful employees. We ate some amazing tacos de piquito, nachos with cheese and we even ordered a pozole, a soup with vegetables. Number 6. Faro's Gourmet. Excellent. Eat here, it's a winner. Katia and David are wonderful hosts and took great care of us. Desert's incredible, we had two. Food deserves a 10. Salmon paid, to die for. Clams, local and amazing. Great wine selection, modestly priced. Very casual by the canal. Number 7. Pies du Pescado. Friendly greeting at the street, then a quick walk past the fresh fish service area, then upstairs to the main dining room. Everyone was friendly and the room was clean and full of happy diners. We ordered a huge seafood platter for two and it was the most complete and delicious seafood platter we had ever seen. A definite highlight of our visit to Avero. Number 8. Bacal How and Affins. Don't let the location put you off across a car park and a park from the rest of town. This works to the restaurant's advantage it is relaxed, and away from the tourist noise and traffic. The staff are very friendly and speak English, and will be more than happy to help you choose from the menu. Obviously there's lot of Bacal How, I had the Bacal How EA Broa. Number 9. Subenchi Avero. Dear customer first of all we would like to thank you for your feedback which is fundamental for our improvement. We are sad to see that we did not live up to your expectations. This is not the quality to which we are used to our customers. The quality of the products we serve is the main reason we receive more compliments, as your experience goes against our will. Number 10. Kais da Tosca. Good to find a friendly restaurant slightly away from the busy area of Avero but within walking distance of the center and on one of the canals. Attractive menu, good wine list, very sensibly, moderately priced. The service was quick and attentive with good advice on the dishes. Black pork outstanding, saute vegetables well cooked and tasty. Very good experience all round. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.